On this episode of Project Race Car, Jono makes some sparks, Jono drills a hole, and Jono bashes our car. So what many people don't realise is when it comes to a fuel pump, it's not necessarily biggest is always best. Sometimes what you'll find is you can be over pumping fuel for your application. And what that means is you'll start excessively heating the fuel as you not only run it through the pump, but run it across into the engine bay and then it returns down into your fuel pump. So you'll see that it'll return back through and back into the tank. Now, thanks to our friends at Bosch Motorsport Australia, they've given us some information on this to be able to make us make an educated choice onto what pump is going to work best in the Pulsar. We're going with the smaller pump because while it may not be able to push through as much flow rate, what we'll find is we'll be getting the right amount of fuel for our motor. And so we should be able to keep our fuel cool, keep the power up to the motor and get a good result. All right, we're two weeks out from the Sydney 300 and pretty much the last job left on our list to do is the fuel tank install. Thanks to our mates at Raceworks, we've been able to get a big tank, all the associated ancillaries and connectors to be able to get this thing into the back of the Pulsar. This will mean we can limit that pit stop and not have to worry about potentially dropping fuel. Now, we've been back and forth with Raceworks. They've provided heaps of invaluable information to us of how we can get this set up. Now it's time to try to get it all rigged up in there. We'll give it a test, and hopefully this will mean that we avoid any sort of problem out on track. So if we just put a flat bar across. Yes, we'll need a flat bar. We're gonna do like this to shorten our run yeah. of pipe work from there. Yeah. So one of those will be blocked and the other will be our out. So we want a hole there, do we? Yeah, yeah, so we want a hole there. But we need to put the 45 on there. He, he's got it in his head, which is awesome because it means I don't have to think about it. So if we go from So then we're coming from there, from there, from there, which means we're coming out there, approximately. The problem is the hose doesn't bend very, like you don't want, you can't put any sharp bends in the hose, right? You know what I mean? Because hose bent over, yeah, doesn't, that of course, sense. flow any fuel. Yeah. So the problem is we might need to do something like put it there, like that. Mm because the other one's going to be right there, right? So we're going to make, we can't, yeah. like if we go there, the hose has a into oh, there, do you know what I mean? Yeah. The only other option we could do that we've never thought about is put it in like that. Then have it like that. Douche across. Yeah, then, just then cut the hole there. And then the 45 will come through that hole just fine. That will be closer for that, and that will be closer for that. Yeah, well that makes a lot more sense. Why were we doing it the other way? Because that was going to be closer to there. Mm. But maybe if we bounce it like that, then the hose just runs that way, we be fine. I just thought like that might be better because then we've actually got more yep. radius attempt for the hose. Because there is just, it'll only be about that long. Yep. Which isn't enough. But then we might just drill rather than grind. Yep. Just drill a hole. Yeah, but what I'm saying is like, you get it like that big, yeah, so the right. fitting can get through, but then we'll just put a grommet or a yep. tape or something just to make sure that the hose, when it bends through, it doesn't sit there and rub for 300k and then end up with a fuel leak. So we'll drill a hole about there. Yep. So, so that's marker. first, just before the, just before the second. We'll that's right, we'll drill it now. Yeah. That's it. Fitting's basically pointing exactly where we want it. Basically, or, or is. So what you can see here is, we've put the Raceworks fitting on, and what you need to make sure is you have the fitting for your application. And 
big is not always better. <laughs> big is not always better. Now just remember when you're doing this, you want to make sure that you're fully covered in your safety gear. So one, one glove, no, no glasses. <laughs> one glove, no, no glasses. After welding on the fuel connection, we got onto the steel bracket we needed to secure the race tank in the car. I've already put in that in, I haven't tightened it though. It's no, just you never do that. No, because it was flopping around here. Yeah, I didn't know where it was going. Perfect. Yeah. 